Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to talk about another Databricks interview question and this video will be part 12 in my series of Databricks interview questions. And if I look, if you are looking to, you know, enhance your skills and you want to learn Databricks, you want to learn Spark concepts, I do recommend watching my videos on Databricks and I will leave the link in the description box as well. So let's go ahead and see the question for today. Now, this is again a very, uh, you know, common question where you are asked that, you know, how can you check data skewness in Databricks? Okay, they might ask you, uh, you know, in the very first go, what is data skewness? And then they might say, okay, uh, I understand that you know what is data skewness, but how do you get to know whether your data is skewed or not, right? Or the, another way of asking this question is, how can you check the count of rows in each partition? So that is also, uh, you know, a very important question which you should know. And, uh, you know, it is very important to know this because you can implement it in the real time as well. So in this particular question, I am going to read a data set, you know, it's just a simple data set that I'm trying to read. I have a file already placed in the file store, right? I have a file placed in the file store and I'm just trying to read it over here. Spark.read.format, it's a CSV file I'm just simply trying to you know read this particular file and then just load this file and header equal to true and typically all these things I've already discussed with you right and then I'm trying to write this file as a data frame at a particular location right and when I'm writing I'm trying to partition it by a particular column so if you see that my data has a column named as species now based on this particular partition right based on the partitioning of this particular column species I'm trying to say okay take this data frame partition it by species and just overwrite at this particular location right so let me just run this command so the moment I run this, you know, my data will be partitioned by species at this particular location and my job is done, right? And then if I have a data frame DF2 where I'm trying to read what is present at this particular location, right? I have files partitioned by species, right? I've just partitioned it. And if I'm trying to read it, you can see that I'm able to read my data as well. Now let me go to this file store. Let me go to the data tab where I have written, right? Where I have written my you know, uh, you know, uh, where I have partitioned everything based on species, you can actually see that my data is partitioned, right, based on species, right. So I have one, two, three, four, and five partitions, right, I have these five partitions, now I want to understand that I want to count, right, what are the number of rows in each and every partition, right. So if I go to each and every partition where species equal to one, I have this part file where my data is present, right, where my rows are present, right. Now how many rows are present in the CSV file, how do I know that? Now for that, I can actually use Spark Partition ID right so you have something called as spark partition id now if you try right if you, you if you want to check right that for a particular data frame if you have partitioned it what is the count present for each partition you can simply use spark partition id and group it by part id and you can simply do a count on top of that so if i run this command let me just run this so if you see it will give me an error first because it says spark partition id is not defined now for that you should be aware that you need to import the spark partition id right from pyspark.sql dot functions import spark partition id you need to import this to use it right you need to import this to use it and the moment you import it now if i run it right now in that case i will be able to see the count which is present in each and every partition this is how you can actually see how your data is you know partitioned you know what are the number of rows so if you see when i read it right total there are 21 rows right in my data there are 21 rows now even if i you know go and count you know 12 plus 1 right 13 14, 15, and then again 5, 20, and then 1, 21. So total 21 rows are actually present over here, right? So this is nothing, but these are the rows which have been partitioned, right? Partition with part ID 0 has 12, 
3 has 1, part, part ID 1 has 5 rows, part ID 2 has 2 rows, part ID 4 has 1 rows. Now using this you will actually know that which part has you know larger number of rows present or more number of rows than the other and that is how you can actually gauge your data skewness as well. So thank you so much for being till here. Do remember to like, share and subscribe and do let me know in the comments section if you are liking the series and if you want more of it. So thank you so much.